Hi friends, welcome to the new class of maths. Okay, today we are going to learn a new topic, something very interesting, something where you will be required to be very very cautious and answer my questions instantly. Okay, shall we begin? Fine. So today's topic will be number sense. Have you heard it before? What do you mean by number sense? What are the numbers? Zero, one, two, three which we see in our daily life, right? Is it possible to lead a life without maths children? Can you imagine a world where there is no numbers at all? Right from the morning till you go to sleep, you have to use maths in your daily life, right? When you see a clock, there is a number. When you go to school, the time, it tells you the number. Your teachers, your friends, everyone tells you the number. So, the numbers play a very important role in our life, right? Fine. So here comes your first question. Tell me the largest one digit number. Did I hear five? No. What is the largest one digit number? I am talking about a one digit number. Can you tell me a one digit number? The largest one digit number. Did I hear nine? Yes, children, you are correct. The largest one digit number is 9. It is 9. What is my smallest one digit number? Yes, tell me. Did you say 0? Zero? 0 has got no values, right? So, what is my smallest one digit number? Did I hear 1? Correct. So, my smallest one digit number is 1. So, when I add 9 plus 1, it becomes 10. Right? So, 10 is my smallest two digit number. So, what is my smallest two digit number? It is 10. Right? How will you write 10 children? We have a 10s column, we have a 1s column. What does 10, T stands for? T stands for 10s. And O stands for 1s. Right? So, how will you write 10? You will write 0 in the 1s column and 1 in the 10s column. Right? So, which is my smallest two digit number? It is 10. Tell me which is my largest two digit number? Which is my largest two digit number? Tell me, what is it? Did I hear 90? No. What is my largest two digit number? Did I hear 99? Wow, bravo. You made a right up, sir. So, how will you write tens and ones here? We will write 9 tens and 9 ones. Right? And when I add 1 with 99, what is the answer I will get? I get an answer 100. So, what is, how many place values are there? It's 1, 2 and 3. So, now it becomes as H, T, O. Where H stands for 100, T stands for 10s. And O stands for 1's. So, how will I write 100? I will write here 1 in H column. I will write 0 in T column. And I will write one more 0 in T column. So, it will become like this. This is the place value of 100. How will you write 999? Can you tell me? If I write H, T, O. How will you write 999? 9 
in hundreds, nine in tens, and nine in ones. Shall we do a quick summary of what we have learnt now? I am going to ask you a few, few questions and you need to tell me what is the correct place value of those numbers. Okay? Are you ready children? Let's go for it. Okay. So, I am going to ask you a few questions now. You need to tell me the place value of these numbers. So, the very first one is 64. How will you write 64 in the place value column? So, first how many numbers are there? This is the ones, this is the tens. Do we have any hundreds here? No, it is only a two digit number, right? So, a two digit number will always have a tens and ones. So, first step is you will write T and O where T denotes 10, O denotes 1. So, what will come in tens column? Which number will you put in tens column? How will you read it? It's 64. So, it is 6 tens and 4 ones. We can also write as 6 tens plus 4 ones equals to 60. Okay, shall we do the next sum? Your next sum is 89. So, what is the step which we are going to follow? The first step, T, O. What number will come in T? It is? Good, 8. What will come in O? Very good, it is 9. How can you write it in the expanded form? Yes, tell me. It's 8 tens plus 9 ones equals to 89. 8 tens denotes 80 plus 9 ones denotes 9. So, 80 plus 9 equals to 89. This is how it works out. 8 tens means 80. Similarly here, 6 tens represents 60. Okay? So, 60 plus 4 equals to 64. Am I clear children? Do you want to try some more? Great. So, here comes my next question which is 75. So, what is my first step? Good. T and O. What will come in T and what will come in O? 7 in T and 5 in O. So, how will I write? I will write as 7 tens plus 5 ones, which is nothing but 70 plus 5 equals to 75, right? So, it becomes 75. Is it clear? Shall we do the last one one more time? Now, how will you write 93? What is the first step? T, O, then how many tens? 9 tens, 3 ones, and how will you write it as? 9 tens plus 3 ones is equals to 93, where 9 tens denotes 90. And 3 ones denotes 3. Is it clear children? Now shall we try with the 100 place value? Ready? Okay. Now we are going to see the 100 class place value now. Okay. Say for example I give you the number 153. Okay. How many numbers are there children? 1, 2, and 3. It's a 3 digit number. Right? So, my first step will be H T O. Okay? So, what will come in H? It will be 1. What will come in T? It will be 5. And what will come in O? It will be 3. 
So, how will you write it in the expanded form? You will write as 100 plus 5 tens plus 3 ones. Right? To write it in the number form, it will be 100 plus 5 tens plus 3 ones which is equals to 153. And what is the number value? What is the number name? You will write it as 153. Yes? Is it clear? Shall we do one more sum? Okay. Your next number is 217. So, the first step says H T O. So, what will come in H? Is it 1 or 2? Good. It is 2. Then what will come in T? It is 1. What will come in O? 7. How will you write it? You will write as 2. 100 plus 110 plus 7 ones which is equals to 217 or you can write the number name as 217. This is my number name. Okay, children, this is the expanded form for you to understand how we have split in three different groups. Okay, shall we move to the next question? Your next question is 305. Now, this is a slightly different question because here I have put 0 in the tens place. So, anything which has a value 0, we need not have to expand, right? So, how will you do it first? Let us categorize in HTO, where in H it will be 3, for T it will be 0, and for 1s it will be 5. How will you show it in the expanded form? You will write as 300 plus, is there anything in tens? It's 0. So, how will you write? 0 tens plus, and what is there in 5? It is 5. 1's. So, 300 plus 0 10's plus 5 1's becomes my 305. And how will you write it as a number name? You will write as 300 and 5 because you have nothing in the 10's column. Shall we do some more sums? Okay. Now, tell me how will you write 450? What is the first step which you will do? So, let me mark it as a question so that you don't get confused. Okay. So, we have done 3 and this is my fourth sum. How will you do it? Yes, you got it correct. So, you will split it in 3 groups of HTO. Now, what is the second step? What will come in H? 4. Then, in tens it will be? 5. Very good. And what will come in O? It will be 0. And how will you split it? You will write as 400 plus 50 plus 0 which is equals to 450. And how will be the number name as? The number name will be 400 and 50. Is it clear? Here comes your next question. Say I give you the number 809. So what is the first option? H T O. What will come in H? It's 8. What will come in T? Good. 0. And what will come in O? You got it right. It's 9. How will you show it in the expanded form? It is 800 
plus 0 tens plus 9 ones. Yes, which is equals to 809. And you will write it as 809. So children, are you clear with the place value digits? Is it clear for you? Shall we do some more sums to have a better practice? Okay. 